My name's Axel Blake and I'm from West London. So Axel, what made you sign up for BGT this year? Well, I've got a 12-year-old son, he's in the audience. Nice. Yeah. Hi. yeah. So I just wanted him to believe in yourself, you know? Put your mind to it and you can make it happen. And do you have a day job? Uh, yes, I do um, property maintenance. If you need a kitchen done, Simon, let me know. <laughs> I do, actually, Axel. Give me a call. I will. Good. I want a good rate. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> We're friends now. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. Press that and we're cool, yeah? <laughs> I'm really curious with you, because you've got, you've got your day job, this is obviously what you want to do. Has there ever been a moment where you've almost lost your confidence and thought, I'm not going to do this? 100%, 100% there's been that time. But when you have family that's looking at you and inspired by you, that's what keeps you going. Yeah. So my son and my daughter, that's, what, that's the reason. That's the reason. All right, well, we wish you the best of luck. Go for it. How are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? Make some noise. I was going to drive here today. I realised I don't have a licence, so... Don't worry, I drove anyways. I drove anyways. <laughs> I took the tube, I took the tube. I've got a love-hate relationship with the tube, you know? I love when it's empty, I hate when it's packed. Can't stand it. Fight people off for the armrest. You ever done that? You think, no, you don't. This old lady's strong. Oh my. <laughs> have it, have it, Margaret. Have it. Just have it. <laughs> some people do their makeup on the tube as well. Make some noise if you ever done your makeup on the tube. <laughs> Legend. A couple weeks ago, I saw a woman. She was doing a whole makeup. A few stops later, she was a whole new person. <laughs> I was so impressed. I started clapping. I was like, you know what? Yeah, you know. She looked down on me like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ugh, uh. I thought, uh, you may be a nine out of ten now, but you was a minus two at King's Cross life. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. <laughs> I walked off the train like this in style. Yeah. But on a brighter note, just recently my fiance gave birth to a little baby girl. <laughs> don't clap, Simon. Don't clap. I didn't say the baby's mine, did I? <laughs> I'm joking, she's mine. <laughs> Pandemic baby as well, you know? Aww. Yeah, so I went to give her a fitting name. So we named her Pfizer, yeah? <laughs> yeah. I call her Faisha, yeah? <laughs> Faisha. Oh, he's very good. <laughs> Technology is moving at such a crazy speed. Evolving crazy. You got the metaverse, you know, you got cryptocurrency. I still get excited about my contactless card when I use it. <laughs> I do, when I use it, beep. <laughs> I love the noise. I've got a jacket with a pocket on his arm. Sometimes I'll leave my card in the arm and I'll pay with my arm. <laughs> just to confuse the cashier. That'll be 19 pounds 30. Boop. <laughs> Next week I'm going back, I'm gonna leave my card in my back pocket. I'll be 22 pounds 60. Boop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Then I walk off in style. <laughs> yeah. Who's in a happy relationship? Make some noise. <laughs> yeah, me and my fiance have been together for years, 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 years. And my friends ask me, how do you do it? How are you together for so long? Through the pandemic, baby. And I just say, find your woman that, you know, loves you, understands your flaws, and find your woman that has a good sense of humor. Just make sure those three women don't find out about each other. <laughs> It's a trick. Yeah, but we don't really have issues. In fact, I'm like, the biggest issue we have is I hate when she would imitate my voice in an argument and it sounds nothing like my voice. <laughs> I can't stand it. I, she come up to me, I asked you what time you're coming home and you said to me, I didn't know when you come home. <laughs> I don't sound like that. Yes, you do. <laughs> what I do now, I've got a way to get her back. I imitate her voice back and guess what? She don't like it. I did tell you what time I was coming home, and you said, well, make sure you come back out of these time. <laughs> I don't sound like that. Yes, you do. She gets angry. Get out of my face! Get out of my face! I say, all right, I'll get out of your face, but how do I do it? In style. Hey. In style! My name's Axel Blake, thank you.
David, what did you think? A comedy superstar is born tonight on that show. <laughs> so funny. You made it all seem so effortless. You've got a wonderful, so likeable personality. And everything you said was brilliantly funny and original. I Thank loved you. it, Axel. Thank you. Thank you. Well done, Axel. Super, super, super confident. The first person, honestly, who's ever made a joke about COVID and was funny. <laughs> I, I know it's a bit of a cliche, but, you know, after what everybody's gone through over the last couple of years, boy, A, we needed this show back on air. We needed acts like you. There's one thing I have to tell you, though. I kind of like a granite top. I like a waste disposal unit. I want 25% off and you get this. Absolutely brilliant. Good for you.